Hey guys, and today in this video, I'm going to be doing a Blade Ball skill tier list for those of you who are new to the game, and just for those in general who don't know these skills and if they're good or not. So, let's get straight into this. So, first thing we're starting with, dash, immediate F tier, come on. we Guys, we know this, dash is F tier, it is nothing better, it is okay, maybe not the best thing in the world, and not at all actually, there is ways to use this not efficiently at all actually there no nope, i take that back there's absolutely no way to use this efficiently you can sort of trick people but you just can't go far enough it's just just a dash really so don't even use this you might as well just save up for another skill like don't even think about trying to use this efficiently because i don't think you will but if some of you are good with just the basic skill then i'm surprised i'm actually really you're a really good player if you can somehow use dash and actually be super good at it so well, let's move on to the next skill, and that is Super Jump. Super Jump, I'm going to put at D tier. Now, the only reason I do this is because, actually, eh, no, I'm putting it down to E tier. You want to know why I'm doing that? Is because when you use Super Jump, you basically kill yourself. Literally, you kill yourself. When you jump high in the air, sometimes it can trick you. Sometimes you click too early, you click too late. And you kill yourself because the ball is just right above you and you can't do anything about that. So, sort of, that just goes straight to zero and it's just not great. Although, sometimes if you hit the ball, it can deceive some people. Most of the time, people just see it coming. And it's basically the same thing as our next skill that we have coming up, which is platform. And it's literally the safer version of Super Jump. So, we're going to put it at C tier. This doesn't really help much but sometimes people just don't know where the ball is and they can't see it or they don't look above them and sometimes it tricks people it's basically the way safer version of super jump and it won't necessarily kill you unless you're way too late on the click timing so yeah platform i'm going to give it a c tier it's pretty mid it's not the best skill in the game but not a good skill in the game um but let's get on straight up to the next skill invisibility Based on people using it, I'm gonna I would put it in F, but we're because people that use it are just people who are not. No offense to people who use invisibility, but you, you got to stop using invisibility, man. You might as well just you might as well just sit in a corner and do not do anything if you're just gonna use invisibility, because my it's just not the best skill to use if you're trying to get like like good really really good at the game. As a skill in general, I put it at B tier. It's not the worst skill in the game, but let's be honest here, it doesn't really give you a fighting advantage. It's literally disabled in 1v1s, and it's only ever used in certain situations. So, like, if you really don't want to hit the ball, if it's going too fast, you can use inv invisibility to save yourself and sort of just kill somebody else. That's why I'm putting it B tier, because it can kill people and it can deceive them. But genuinely, it is just not that great. Like, as a skill, you're, you're pretty much a coward if you use the skill. But uh, at least people think that, you know, at least that's what most of my friends think. They're just like, man, this guy's using invisibility, like really? But uh, no offense to anyone that knows using invisibility. But some people are actually just not that great at the game when they use it. Anyway, let's move on to the next skill, which is Thunder Dash. Thunder Dash, I'm going to put at D tier. And the only reason I'm going to do this is because if you do, it's basically the same thing as Dash, but you go farther. And the only reason I'm putting it D tier is because one, it's not really much different than dash, and two, there is a way to use this skill good. And basically, I think Thunder Dash is sort of in between C and D because it's not the worst skill in the game, but it's not great. There is a way to use this skill right. And you can either, when the ball is coming at you fast, like, and you're close to somebody, quickly dash to the left or the right, and people will be like, whoa, and then like, there's a... There's a sudden curve to the ball, and it kills them. Sometimes that works, or you can use it like a, or sort of like a phase bypass where you kind of just dash really far in front of them and just spam click, and most of the time it will kill them. But a lot of the times this doesn't work, and sort of it just is not the best skill. So D tier that one goes. Shadow Step. Shadow Step is going to be another one that I'm going to put actually at A tier because I see a lot of people that use this skill and it is extremely good, especially when it is max leveled. And it's basically just phase bypass, but a little better because you're invisible. And well, it's, um, it, it can vary. Both the skills will get to phase bypass in a little bit, but Shadow Step is A tier because it's basically the same thing besides you're not going super speed and you're invisible. 
So that's why I put it at A tier. Wind Cloak is an extremely mid ability. It sort of just makes you run a little faster and jump a little higher. At least I believe that's what it does. I might have to check back at that, but it's a pretty mid uh, ability. It doesn't really do much for you, and it sort of just gives you a little bit of an advantage if you want to hit the ball high. But that is uh, pretty much it for Wind Cloak. We're going to put that one at C tier. Freeze is definitely a confusing one. I'm kind of thinking between A and S tier. Probably going to give Freeze an A tier because, again, uh, Freeze is a very good ability. And it can go to anyone when it's like really, really fast because the player can pick and choose. So, actually, mm, I'll give it an S tier because when the ball is going super fast and you freeze it, you can easily kill somebody. Just absolutely, insanely easily, just absolutely obliterate somebody. It's crazy. Uh, yes, we're going to give that one an S tier. And Force Field. This one is going to probably go in B tier. And the only reason I say this is because Force Field, again, doesn't really give you a big fighting advantage. But it does make you become basically invincible for a short amount of time. And if you use it right, in like in close range combat... This is probably the best way to use this skill is in close range combat. And definitely the way you're going to want to use this ability. And But it doesn't give you much of a fighting advantage besides invincibility. That's why it's going to B tier. It's basically like, it's basically the better version of invisibility. It makes you basically invincible. Now, Raging Deflect. This is going to be what I'm going to put at A tier. This ability, I think, is extremely underrated, and I don't think enough people use it. It's basically like Rapture. It's the worst It's the worst version of Rapture, basically, where if you hit it, it makes the ball go extremely fast. Like, it, the ball can be going slow, and then once you hit it with this ability, it can go extremely fast. And it's actually a genuinely, de really decent ability that I would definitely put next to Shadow Step at A tier. I think that definitely deserves its spot. Telekinesis. Another one I'm going to put at A tier. This is a very good ability. And if you use it right, it can be an insanely good ability. The reason why I'm not putting it at S tier is because a lot of people that use this skill don't really know how to use it. But it does have the potential of S tier. But right now, uh, the way this skill is being used, a lot of people might not, might not realize its potential. I think we could put it between A and S tier if that was an option. But I think it's more in A tier territory. Because you can really only use it for endgame. Because if you use it earlier in the game, it's not going to really do much. And that's what a lot of people do. A lot of people use it early in the game and it just doesn't work. If you're going to use this skill, I definitely recommend using it at endgame. That's, that's just what I recommend. Next one is pull. Pull, I'm going to put at S tier. And hear me out. I know a lot of people might not think pull deserves an S tier. But listen... Pull can be an extremely good ability. It's literally deception. Basically, with pull, if the ball is going extremely fast and you pull it towards you, it deceives the player and makes them waste their block. And if you if you hit the ball, like if you pull it and hit it right back, they're dead. They're literally dead because, one, they waste their block, and you deceive them by using your pull ability. And don't, I would definitely recommend not to use this when the ball is going slow. Because again, just like telekinesis, it's not very useful when the ball is going slow. I recommend using this at either a standoff or a 1v1v1, sort of like in that territory. But the skill can be extremely good. I definitely recommend using this. Next skill is Phase Bypass. This one, I'm thinking between B and A tier. And I think I'm going to put this one at A tier. And the only reason I'm going to do this is because... Phase Bypass can be an extremely good skill, but it can also be easily countered. So actually, I am going to put that at B tier. The reason I put Phase Bypass at B tier actually is because, well, this skill can be extremely good. It can be easily countered. And the only time I would recommend using this skill is in a standoff and when the ball is going fast enough. If the ball isn't going fast enough, not only are you going to mess yourself up, but you're an extremely easy target that can be killed fairly easily and it's a waste of a skill so with phase bypass all you have to do is sort of stand still and then run when you use the skill just run towards the player and spam and the reason why it's countered so easily is because if they can spam faster then that skill is countered there's nothing you can do about it and actually i think a way to counter phase bypass is using pull 
So that's also another thing to know. But yeah, phase bypass is going to B tier. That's why I think where it deserves. And when we go into our next skill, Rapture, this is going to be our first double S tier, SS. And honestly, I think this deserves this because Rapture is almost an unbeatable ability. This thing is absolutely insane. I think every time I've used this, I've only countered it only once. So I think that's absolutely crazy. But um, Rapture, basically, you basically, I would recommend using it like you're playing volleyball and just hitting it straight up when using the ability. Not only did, did it insta-kill me, but it insta-killed pretty much everybody else that uh, was used against. It's absolutely insane. Definitely deserves double S spot. Only thing bad about it is that it costs so much damn Robux. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> so, but a very good ability. Not worth the money, though. Next skill we're going to get to is Waypoint. I actually don't know a lot about Waypoint. The only thing I know is that it lets you teleport around. But I think it lets you swap places with the player that's there. And sometimes that can be very deceptive. I think I'm going to put this one at C tier though. Because not only can this be easily countered. But it's not very good unless the ball is going super super fast. Because you could just click. I mean your body shines red when the ball is going towards you. So Waypoint's not a very useful ability. So um yeah that's just that's the one that's gonna go c tier infinity is gonna be another one and our last but not least would be infinity which is going in double s tier and hear me out i think infinity being a double s tier is deserving probably because you can literally control the ball when the ball is coming at you can you can literally control it and you can hit it's basically freeze but better it is absolutely insane you can control the ball. The, not only is the cooldown super fast, but you can also control the ball. It is absolutely crazy. But um, I definitely think that deserves the double S spot. Very deserving of it. And uh, yeah, that basically concludes our tier list of abilities. And um, there weren't many F tiers. A lot of these skills are either mid or extremely good. And honestly, Super Jump is between F tier and E tier. I'm just going to keep it at E tier because sometimes it can work, but most of the time it doesn't. So, I mean, F tier it can go, but I'm just going to leave Dash at F tier because, my goodness, it's just absolutely atrocious. Um, But that's the tier list. I, You know, there are probably some things that you might disagree with here, but I'm going to leave it like this for now. I might make an updated video on this. But, uh, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button down below, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.